The second organ of elimination are the lungs. The lungs take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the gaseous waste created by the combustion of oxygen at the cellular level. So what your lungs need is fresh air because the more oxygen that is taken into the lungs, the more carbon dioxide can be breathed out of the lungs. It's like a gaseous exchange in those little alveoli in the lungs. That's Barbara O'Neill, a naturopath and health educator focused on natural healing and well-being. Today, we're going to discuss two of the body's essential detoxification systems, the lungs and kidneys. Both play a crucial role in eliminating waste and keeping our bodies healthy. Your lungs are not just for breathing in oxygen, they also help to expel carbon dioxide and other waste gases. Every breath you exhale is part of the body's natural detox process, getting rid of toxins that can accumulate if not properly managed. The kidneys are the body's natural filtration system, working tirelessly to filter waste products from your blood and expel them through urine. They help to regulate fluid balance, electrolytes, and remove excess toxins from the bloodstream. Now, let's learn from Barbara about the importance of eliminating waste through your lungs and kidneys and what these organs need to do their jobs. Your lungs also need you to exercise because when you exercise, your breathing changes. Have you noticed? You start breathing a lot deeper and the deeper you breathe, the more oxygen that you're coming in, that you're getting into your lungs. Now for the third thing that your lungs need. Your lungs also need water. On a cold winter morning, we can see each other's breath, can't we? Because of the moisture, the warm moisture that's coming out every exhalation. When we're dehydrated, the little bronchioles tend to shrink up to try and conserve water. So very important that you drink adequate water so that the lungs can expel their waste. Herbal support water recipes can be particularly effective for lung health and to help clear mucus and toxins, you might enjoy eucalyptus and peppermint water. Eucalyptus has been shown to help with respiratory health by clearing mucus and easing coughs, while peppermint can soothe the respiratory tract and relieve congestion. To make this infusion, steep a few eucalyptus leaves and a handful of fresh peppermint leaves in hot water, allow it to cool, and then enjoy it as a soothing and aromatic beverage. Barbara will now talk about the role and function of your kidneys. Kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood. And they do it in quite a fascinating way. Let me illustrate. Our kidneys are made up of lots of little filtering units called nephrons, and our kidney is as big as our fist. So my six foot six brother-in-law has a bigger fist than mine, and my little granddaughter, Saffron Pearl, who is three, she has a smaller fist than me. How important to teach children about the house they live in, which is this body. Surely the most neglected form of education. Tell us more about the role of the kidney. So our kidney is as big as our fist. It, it actually sits a little below our ribs. And each kidney has one million filtering units. Let me draw one of the filtering units. That's the filtering unit. And these are the tubules that the filtrate is, travels along before it gets down to the bladder and then of course is urinated out. So the blood goes in, it weaves around the filtering units and then it weaves around the tubules. In a 24-hour period, 1800 litres of blood is filtered. We don't have that much blood. No, we don't. But every two minutes, 1.2 litres goes through the little filtering unit. And out of that filtering unit, 180 litres of filtrate is filtered out. 
But we don't urinate out 180 litres. We only urinate out approximately 1.5 litres in a 24 hour period. So what happens to the other 160 litres? They're reabsorbed here. So there's a reabsorption area and later in the week I'll show you that in that reabsorption area our blood pressure is balanced or monitored, salt and water balances in the body is monitored and also pH is monitored. So you're understanding this gives you an idea of what the kidneys need. What does the kidney need? The kidneys need water. Because when you drink adequate water, it keeps your blood nice and thin and it's a lot easier for that little filtering unit to filter your blood when the blood's nice and thin. So we need to be drinking at least two to two and a half litres of water every day. Purple support water recipes can be particularly effective for supporting kidney and lung health. To support kidney function and detoxification, try making dandelion root and nettle leaf water. Dandelion root is known for its diuretic properties, which help flush out toxins and support kidney health. Nettle leaf, on the other hand, has been used traditionally to support urinary tract health and detoxification. To prepare this infusion, steep dry dandelion root and nettle leaf in hot water, let it cool, and then drink it throughout the day. Barbara will now tell us about the second need of the kidneys. The second one is warm. The kidneys need to be warm. Let me show you. Here is the kidney. And these little filtering units are all on the edge. And these tubules here basically weave down like this. And then into the ureter, which is into the bladder, and there's the ureter from the other kidney, and then urinated out. Considering this, you can imagine if this back area of the human body gets cold, then not a lot of blood will go into that area. You see, we're warm-blooded creatures, and where there's no blood, there's no warmth. And if someone has cold hands and you look at them, their hands will be quite white. But if they clap their hands and rub their hands together, the hands become pink and now they're warm. Do you know why they're warm? Because they've got blood in them. So it is the blood that causes the warmth. So let's say, and it has been a common fashion over many years, to have the midriff area bare. And that's all right on a day like today. And it's all right in the middle of summer in Cairns. But when I lived in Melbourne a few years ago, in the winter, you would see young girls with bare midriffs. What happens is the, the blood's not getting in there because it's so cold. And so what's happening is the blood's not getting filtered. And so waste starts to build up in the blood. And who's going to clean up the waste? Your own microorganisms evolve into the cleanup team. And then the girl goes to the doctor because she's discovered she's got a urinary tract infection. Hopefully that doctor says to her, how much water are you drinking? You've got to keep those kidney warms. Are you exercising? Have you stopped the coffee? Have you stopped the, the Coca-Cola? But I've got a friend, she's a doctor, and if she says that, you know what the girl will do? She'll get up, leave her surgery and find someone who will just give her a course of antibiotics. No, she's got to keep those antibiotics when she really needs them. <laughs> Urinary tract infections are quite easily fixed. You've got to look at what causes them, start to drink more water. But this is continuing. And so the brain says, the kidneys are having a problem. They're not able to filter the blood because they're so cold. Let's insulate the kidney. And what does the body insulate the kidneys with? Now remember, we don't have fur and we don't have feathers. We have fat. And so the fat cells are built up there to insulate the kidney. This is the belt. I think it's called muffin top. Do you find that today? Many young girls, they've got thin arms, thin legs, but they've got this weight around the torso area. And a lot of it has to do with the poor old kidneys are constantly cold. 
we had a girl work with us for a while who'd lived in Nepal for two years. She said, do you know the Nepalese women bind first strips around their kidney area because they know the importance of keeping the kidneys warm. And what else does the kidney need? So that will give you an understanding of why it is so important to keep the kidneys warm. Exercise. Often called the forgotten remedy, isn't it? Exercise is very important for the kidneys because when you exercise, you increase the circulation of the blood all through the body and absolutely to these little filtering units. So when you exercise, it enables the kidneys to filter the little units much more effectively. Exercise does something else too. See, every time you walk, just picture your kidneys. Every step that you take, your kidneys are being strengthened and toned to perform their work. Support your lung health by keeping your lungs functioning optimally. Also consider these natural methods. Breathing exercises. Practicing deep breathing exercises can enhance lung capacity and improve the efficiency of waste. Elimination. Air quality. Ensure you're breathing clean air, free from pollutants, by spending time in nature or using air purifiers indoors. Support your kidney health by having your kidneys function at their best. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water is essential for kidney health. It helps flush out toxins and prevent kidney stones. Healthy diet. Consuming foods rich in antioxidants and low in sodium helps reduce the strain on your kidneys. Focus on leafy greens, berries, and foods high in fiber. Natural detox practices. By understanding how your lungs and kidneys work together to eliminate waste, you can adopt practices that support these vital organs. Remember, your health is the lock and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands, it's just one bite away.